uh, guys and girls, Scorch Parts here. Welcome to the Scorch Parts packing bench. We have the Scorch Parts Mojave. And the thing that a lot of you are going to be interested in is fitting the Scorch Parts fenders. So, after lots of requests, I'm going to do a bit of a trimming video of these today and show you how I do it. Um, it's, it's pretty easy really, pretty straightforward. So this is the tool to use, small lex and scissors. These are great for cutting these parts, make short work of it. Let's get started with one of the rear parts. Now if you look at the instructions and you look at the part, you can see on the instructions there's a white line marked on the pictures. The pictures are not fantastic. If you look at the part as well, there, there, is, there is a line that runs all the way around. You want to run around these top edges, around here, and around this edge, around that edge there. Let's get going. Now, on the ends here, you do want to cut on the top edge of that surface so that you don't leave a flanged edge underneath so that it won't otherwise it won't sit flush onto the front fender. Likewise at the front when you cut around here you want to cut around the top surface so you don't leave a flange going underneath because that will make the body difficult to fit as well. As you can see the Lexan scissors they fly through it pretty quick. Helps if you come in from different directions depending whether you're left or right handed. When you get into a corner, a swap and come at it from the other direction really helps. Like I cut around that top edge so we don't need a flange. Normally quite generous with the cut just here because it gets very close to the um, body tray. So um, it's probably even better if you cut a little bit more off there, you'll get a nice effect. The same goes for the front fenders as well. They're both a bit tight just there. Really, that's it. That's kind of that's that one done. Pretty easy. See what you don't want is any burrs left from the drilling of that hole or any flanged edges on here it will mean that this won't sit flat and will make the body difficult to fit. I normally go around with a file afterwards and tidy up all of these edges and make them nice. But really that's, that's good enough to fit. Let's do a front as well. On these little holes here, before you try to fit it, it's worth just going in with a knife and just making sure where they've been drilled, the holes are clear and there's no burrs, just to make it easy to fit. These holes are a new addition, the very first ones didn't have that. There is now a, a screw and a nut in the kit to bind the two halves together. It was something I had considered, but I saw that uh, Richard Robinson had done it as well on his truck, so 
I've included that on all of them now. It's not strictly necessary, but I think it makes the whole assembly a little bit more rigid, so it's only going to help. Right, let's look at fitting them on the truck. So here's the truck, ready to go, ready to fit the fenders. On mine, obviously, I've already stripped the foam off of the body mounts, front and rear. I've also taken the Velcro off the sides here, because the fenders are going to screw into these little holes here. These are the fenders that we cut a few moments ago. Now uh, we want front one to uh, oh, that's the want the front one to go on first. That one goes on there. And in the kit you'll have the fasteners. There we go. Always use MIP. Definitely the best tools. So just hang it on the front body mount. Look through the little hole there until it lines up with the air bar. Screw in. Feel for it to nip up. And the same deal with the rear one. It might be a little bit more difficult to get the screws started off because I've not had screws in them before. I just think it's going easy now because they've been on and off a few times. Out. And then hopefully the little hole should line up. Join in fixing can go on there. Spin the nut on the back. And ready to go. Now you do want to check that these are able to sit nice and flush down onto the body mounts. That really helps in the body not being a tight fit when the body comes to go on. So let's, uh, let's try the body on now. now. I've not done anything with the holes on this side yet. Now, let me check you can see what I can see. Yep. Now, when you're fitting them, pins do tend to be tight. Now, if you get your finger up underneath, you can push on the back of the body mount and you'll see they do clip in okay. It's not, it's not too big a problem. Um, I think where, particularly where people will have difficulty getting these to fit through, is when there's reinforcement being added to the back of the body. Because that's just going to thicken the body up and the pins are not going to be an easy fit. So you see they, they kind of go on okay. Now if you have got reinforcement on the back of your body. Or you're finding that the pins are too tight. There is a modification that I think you can do. Let's see if you can. I've done it on this one here where I've opened out the hole and I've done that with a hot wire so I heated up a bit of wire to elongate that hole which will make the pin fit even easier so I'll show you what I did to that one on here so what I'm going to use is it's a 2mm drill you could use a bit of wire or maybe a straightened out body clip or Something like that. Anything that'll, that'll go through the hole. And a mini blowtorch. If you've not got a mini blowtorch, you've got an armour, I suggest you need a mini blowtorch. <laughs> Otherwise you're going to have all sorts of problems with Loctite in screws and so on. Because this is what you need to get those screws out. So, 
What I'm going to do is get this nice and hot. through the hole and then just stretch the hole up a little bit. Don't go mad because you'll you could make a mess of this. Yep. If you're careful it'll work nicely. And you see I've just slotted the hole a little bit. Yeah, they'll create enough clearances if you've got tape or whatever on the back of your body, you're going to be able to get those clips through and should work quite nicely. I've got a bigger problem. The next body I'm going to try and fit is this one. This is mega thick, so uh, yeah, might need to slot those holes out a little bit more. <laughs> 